Introduction We do activities like walking, running and playing and in all these activities, friction play an important role. You must have seen people skiing on snow, an interesting sport that needs balancing and knowledge of frictional force. Do you know that frictional forces can be classified based on its features? Let us find out the various types of frictional force. Introduction We do activities like walking, running and playing and in all these activities, friction play an important role. You must have seen people skiing on snow, an interesting sport that needs balancing and knowledge of frictional force. Do you know that frictional forces can be classified based on its features? Let us find out the various types of frictional force. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe the types of friction Discuss advantages and disadvantages of friction Illustrate the way to reduce or increase the friction Friction can be classified into four types Static friction Sliding friction Rolling friction And fluid friction the ball on ground is at rest at this point. Static friction is acting on it. The frictional force that exists between the two surfaces so long as they are relatively at rest when an external force acts is called static friction. There is no actual movement of the body in static friction. In static friction, force of static friction is equal to the applied force. Static friction ends with the beginning of sliding of the object at rest. When we push the ball, it starts moving. The frictional force present when one body moves slowly or slides over another body is known as sliding friction. Once a body slides, the sliding friction is reduced a little. It is less than the static friction. In sliding friction, the force of sliding friction is equal to the constant pull force. You must have seen attaches and other pieces of luggage fitted with rollers. Even a child can pull such pieces of luggage. Why is it so? Let us find out. The rollers reduce friction and roll on the objects on rollers. It is always easier to roll than to slide a body over another. That is the reason it is convenient to pull the luggages fitted with rollers. The force of friction between the rollers on a body and the surface is called the rolling friction. Rolling friction is much less than the sliding friction. Since the rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction, sliding is replaced in most machines by rolling by the use of ball bearings. Common examples are the use of ball bearings between hubs and the axles of ceiling fans and bicycles. It is not only the ground which offers force of friction on the body moving along its surface. Even water and air exert frictional force. In science, the common name of gases and liquids is fluids. Let us look at some examples of fluid friction. The streamlined shape of fishes helps them in reducing the force of friction between their body and the water through which they move. Boats and ships are narrow in front and slopping on sides. This is known as streamlined shape. Streamlined shape reduces friction from fluid medium through which these objects move. Water offers friction to the sailing ship. In a clear night sky, the shooting stars can be seen. These are small pieces of rock material floating in space called meteors. Do you know why it catches fire? When a meteor skids from space and enters the Earth's atmosphere, it drops against the air. The speed of the meteor is extremely high, hence it comes across a very high friction while moving through air. This generates heat and burns with a flame. The burning meteor leaves behind a streak 
which appears like a shooting star. Aeroplanes flying through air also face force of friction. Since aeroplanes move fast, the force of friction between them and the air is high. The jets and supersonics move with a faster speed than aeroplanes. While flying, these airplanes get heated on the surface from the heat generated due to the force of friction. The inside of the plane is insulated to protect the passengers from heat generated on the surface. It should be noted that thinner the medium, less is the force of friction. Thicker, denser the medium, more is the force of friction. Friction is both good and bad. We are able to walk because friction prevents us from slipping. When we push the ground with our foot, the friction provides a forward reaction to our push and pushes us forward. We are able to write because there is friction between the tip of the pencil and the paper. Lighting the matchstick is another useful application of friction. Briefly, when we rub a matchstick against the rough side of the matchbox, the friction between the head of matchstick and the side of matchbox produces heat. When we step on a greasy or oily surface, a foot slips because friction gets reduced due to smoothness of the grease or oil. Friction reduces the efficiency of machines. Some of the forces applied to run a machine get lost in overcoming the friction between its moving parts. When the moving parts of a machine rub together, a lot of heat is produced due to friction between them. This damages the machine. There are many moving parts in machines which rub against each other constantly. Due to friction, the rubbing parts of a machine wear out gradually. The tires of a vehicle wear and tear due to friction. Friction can be removed by following methods. By polishing or using powder, we can smooth the rough surface by polishing or by using powder. Due to smoothness, the friction is reduced from the surfaces. By using ball bearing. Ball bearings are a hollow circular device containing small metal balls which is fitted around the moving part of a machine like an axle. The ball bearings reduce friction by converting sliding friction into rolling friction. By using rollers and wheels. Many heavy objects like big suitcases are provided with small wheels called rollers to reduce friction so that they can be carried easily by pulling. By streamlining, the bodies of cars, aeroplanes and rockets are streamlined to reduce the air friction. The bodies of boats and ships are also streamlined to reduce the friction of water. Summary let us summarize what we have learnt. Sliding friction is less than the static friction. Rolling friction is less than the sliding friction. Boats and ships while moving through water come across force of friction from water and aeroplanes and spaceships from air. Force of friction results in wear and tear of the surfaces in contact and in generating heat. Friction is reduced through smoothening of surfaces, use of rollers, ball and cylindrical bearings, lubrication of parts in motion, streamlined shape of vehicles.